A group known as the Joint Forces for the Defense of Democracy in Edo State has taken to the streets of Benin City, the state capital, rejecting the proposed loan request by the state governor, Godwin Obaseki, of about 20 billion naira. The coordinator of the group, Emmanuel Aigbogun, spoke to newsmen at the protest, saying the development is not only worrisome, but wicked, reckless, and an attempt to mortgage the future of Edo youths. Aik Bogun says that Edo State currently has one of the highest domestic debt profiles, which stand at about 84.76 billion naira, and also the highest external debt profile in the South-South region, which amounts to over $257 million as of March of 2020. He says taking a loan a few weeks before the state governorship elections is unheard of and should not be entertained. The House of Assembly, the governor has pocketed the House of Assembly where we can no longer get people to represent our interests. So because of that fact, we had to come out this morning in mass, despite the fact that most of our comrades are here to join us, to deposit our, our position over the fact that the governor is not permitted to borrow that money. And to also tell the borrowee that any money they borrow, they will look for African invest to pay that money. We, as those citizens, do not want any money. The money we have voted to our governor over 400 billion dollars to run the affairs of this state within the last three years is enough if he intends to carry any developmental project with borrowing not at this point in time not when we want to do elections because we all know that the moment that money is sourced to the governor the way they shared money during the primaries he conducted is the same way they are going to share our taxpayers money and we are saying no to that we are aware and we know that that group was sponsored by Osagi Zayamu. You know, today he appeared in court for his corruption uh, trial for 700 million uh, money laundering. He did this as a strategy to try to deflect the attention of the public from the trial that he is undergoing at the at the federal high court in Benin. Uh, but uh, though people are not stupid, uh, the real deal today, the real news today is that Isayamu, a person who is trying to, to be elected to be to the highest office in this land, you know, is being tried for, for money laundering, you know, and that that's a serious damage to his character. Um, in other claims, a person like him should not be asking to be voted for to be governor. The House of Assembly, the governor has pocketed the House of Assembly where we can no longer get people to represent our interests.